Hey guys, Nick Jones here for PBCastTV.com, and as you can probably tell, today we're going to be doing another Ubuntu software review. I'm going to try to do one of these just about every week, because not only does this allow me to share with you guys some of my favorite software, but it also gives me um, kind of the excuse to download a lot of Ubuntu software as well. So as you can see guys, I actually have downloaded a new theme since the last time that I saw you guys and I'm actually running the elementary theme now, a very popular theme for Nautilus and Gnome. And today I'm going to be reviewing um, the elementary project's browser. It's called Midori. It is based on, of course, um, WebKit, which a lot of other browsers are based on, including Google Chrome. And they're touting it to be a lightweight, fast browser. And if we head over to elementary project.com dash project.com that is um, first of all you can see it's not quite that fast because I'm used to I actually use chromium on a day to day basis and I do like um, how this looks um, I mean I don't know I just I just like it um, it's not gonna become one of my normal browsers but if we head over here to download you I was looking at this and uh, as you can see they have Midori they're saying uh, Midori is a super fast lightweight web browser it uses upcoming technologies like WebKit combined with a sensible design to create a simple and fast web experience whether you're on elementary Ubuntu Fedora or OpenSUSE uh, Midori is the perfect choice for all your web browsing needs I mean it works pretty well as you can see, we'll just head over to youtube.com slash pbcasttv, which I would encourage you guys, if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, to head over here and click the yellow subscribe button. But we'll just watch last night's um, PB at Night, where I actually talk about uh, Linux and things. And as you can see, Flash Playback works great, which is something that uh, sometimes doesn't work that great under Ubuntu. And let's just go around the controls here. Um, so you have file and you can add a new window, new tab, uh, you can have private browsing which is the same uh, if you're used to Chrome, it's the same as, um, what do they call that, like the incognito window or something. Here's open, save as, you can actually save your browser settings, uh, add a speed dial which is something kind of like Chrome, so if, um, you can actually pin things to the shortcut menu here, which is kind of cool. You can close the tab, close the window, and of course print and uh, control Q quits the application. If you go under edit, really you just have your normal edit tools including undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, delete, select all, find, um, you know, and then let's go into the preferences here. Uh, this kind of reminds me of um, Firefox in the early days when before they had uh, extensions and things, so you know, you can say when Midori starts, um, I want it to load the home page. I actually didn't have it set on there. You can uh, set where you want your downloads to go, appearance, you know. So I want this on Ubuntu fonts. Uh, ch -ch -ch Ubuntu uh, default font family, fixed width font family, yeah, whatever. Um, so yeah, you know, you got all these things. You can tell it to. Uh, load you can you, you know you can make it where you can load uh, just images or whatever um, as you can see I have my text editor as gedit um, you can set up a proxy and uh, you can set your uh, you know browser history settings here alright let's go to uh, view so you can kinda make the toolbars go away so if I wanted the menu bar to go away um, you can do that hmm so yeah, and then you can bring it back here. Sorry, I thought I'd like delete it or something. Uh, anyway, you can also um, you know make the side panel come up and all kinds of other things. You know, uh, it is a browser, and you can bookmark things to the bookmark tab here. Um, I mean, it's a nice browser, but I think I'm gonna stick for Chrome to now for now or chromium which is actually what I use. I use the dev build, but anyway, um, it's kind of fun to look at other software. Guys, make sure you check out pbcasttv.com. That's where we post all of our uh, podcasts and our shows and everything. Um, as you guys know, we now post our videos on YouTube over at youtube.com slash pbcasttv. If we go back here. Boop. And I'm hopefully going to be doing one of these videos every week. Um, 
a software review for something like uh, something inside of Ubuntu or maybe even Fedora or something if you guys would like to see from that. So that's pretty cool and uh, hopefully I'm going to be getting a new computer soon so I'll be able to do um, more videos and be able to edit and things because right now we're kind of short on hardware because I'm streaming with one computer. I've got my laptop here and my laptop's sort of underpowered and it's kind of going out on me. So hopefully I'm going to be able to build a new desktop over the Christmas holidays. Now that reminds me, if you're watching this anytime near the Christmas holidays, I wish you a very Merry Christmas from all of us at PBCastTV.com. And until next time, guys, I'm Nick Jones. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye.